Hi, I'm Nicodem and I would like to show you some useful 3D prints, this time for your garden. Oh, and if you didn't saw the previous episodes of useful 3D prints, you should check them out, there are links in the description, there are also links to STL files, if you are interested. If you want to put plants in your garden, you need some tools and that's what I mainly printed. For example, here I have a simple shovel. It is very useful if you want to plant something in your garden, to make a hole or whatever. Printing time of this thing is about 3 hours. You can print that without supports, but supports are recommended this time. So just 3 hours and you have a working shovel without the trip to the shop, that's a very nice thing. Once you have a hole in the ground, it is a good idea to take out all of the plants or rocks or whatever from the ground. And for that you need a rake. Here I have a simple rake that I designed and print out. Printing time about 2 hours and you don't need support this time. In order to plant some seeds or whatever into the ground, you need to create a small hole that you put the seeds inside. I'm not sure what's the name of this thing, but it lets you create a small holes in the ground and then put seeds inside. And thanks to this tool, your hands are clean and you can create perfectly the same holes in the wool garden without any problem. So it is very useful too. So together, those three tools let you basically do anything in the garden. Of course, the small stuff, because if you want a big hole, you need a bigger shovel and this one is too small. But sometimes you need to grow your plants in more controlled environment, like a greenhouse or just in your house. And for that you need a small pot, so here's a small pot. Printing time about 40 minutes, you don't need a lot of filament, it is small, it is very light and you can fit a lot of them on a small space, so for example in your greenhouse or whatever. You can grow your plant and then put it into the ground. Of course if you need you can scale up this pot and use it with different bigger plants or whatever. And now let's move on to the last design, but actually I have 8 different designs for almost the same thing, there is just one difference between them. Those are plates with names of the vegetables, of the plants that you have in your garden. So for example, let's say that you have an onion in your garden. It is very small and you are, can't really say what is it right now, but you have to know what is it to, I don't know, water it properly or give it some kind of nutrition. So here you have a simple plate. You can put it into the ground and now you know that there is an onion. I also designed a pumpkin, cucumber, carrot, radish, potato, lettuce and tomato. Printing time of this thing is about 20 minutes and if you want to have a different color of the font than the plate, you have to change the filament right after the top layer of the plate is finished. I have only 8 designs of this plate with different names if you have anything more, please leave them in the comments. That's all for this episode of useful 3D prints. If you didn't saw the previous episodes, check them out. Also check out my other videos. If you have any idea for future episodes of useful 3D prints, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Happy making. Bye.